There is, of course, a new Toyota Tundra. This is the 2022 model. And in this video, we're gonna focus on the redesign of this truck. I think it's really, really close to being a fantastic successor to the current generation when it comes to the design of it. But there are a few things in the front and the rear that I want to redesign to make it a little more structured and add some uh, strength to the overall graphics of the truck here. So I made a video on my second channel called Bambly. And I'm gonna link that down in the description talking about the spec and tech of this truck. But in general, you're gonna have a V6 engine to start with 389 horsepower. Later on, you're gonna have an, uh, a hybrid powertrain with 437 horsepower, not bad for this size. And of course, the 2022 Toyota Tundra is gonna come in a bunch of different trim levels. For example, you have the SR, the SR5, the Limited, the Platinum, the 1794, and the TRD Pro trim levels. And the thing about these trim levels, which is usually the case when it comes to trucks, or they're gonna look very, very different from each other. For example, Limited Platinum, not really my type of trim level. They're gonna have more of an aluminum brushed aluminum, almost like a mustache framing the front grille, while the TRD Pro and the SR5, for example, are gonna be a little less uh, toned down when it comes to different materials. It's gonna be more like black and white where you have uh, less chrome and instead have materials that are, of course, suited for off-road and so on. But when I first saw this truck here, let's have a look at the front view here. And this is, as I said, I, uh, it's, it's actually growing on me the more I look at this truck. It's starting to look really good now, but still there is one single little thing that I want to add to this that I think is going to make a world of difference, specifically when it comes to this big massive grill here. Now I've heard a lot of talk about this being too big and <laughs> if you want to talk about grill size compared to the BMW and then Toyota comes in and slaps this massive grill on this uh, Tundra right here. They've done it before with the Avalon I think it's called or something like that. You have the big massive grill in the front end of the sedan as well. This actually I, th I think this is not a problem. This big grill it suits the truck. It, it is a full-size truck so it should be intimidating when you look at it from the front end and of course this looks like it's actually all functional. If you look at uh, the, the grill holes here you can see there are none of them are covered up so I think it's maybe necessary to have a grill this big and also another thing this vent right here is also functional and comparing that for example to the Toyota Supra where you have a bunch of styling in intakes in the front end that are not really functional so I'm really glad that Toyota decided to go with some really functional design features here and graphics in the front end and that to me makes it okay to have a big grill like this as long as it's functional you can have whatever size you need in order for the truck to have optimal airflow and cooling in the front but one thing I really want to focus on here is the headlights right here I really like these headlights and how they are integrated in this front fender so if we look at the fender shape here we have this design right here which is very typical for the Tundra same thing in the back here they are kind of inverted for the 2022 model compared to the 2021 so this LED here it follows the line itself and the shape and chamfers of the front fender I think that's really well done and also you have this line going in here which kind of connects to the Toyota logo here in the front and also new for 2022 you have this LED bar underneath the Toyota logo which turns on when you have the high beams on on the truck and I think that's a really cool addition looks kind of like an aftermarket piece right there but I think it's cool that Toyota actually included that from stock so the problem I have with the front end is that if you look at this grill here it looks like it just falling into the ground here and there's nothing to kind of hold it up there's no foundation for the grill to rest on graphically and what I mean by that is I want to have some sort of line right here below the grill that connects from the one side to the other and have that be body colored and I think if we do that it's going to transform the entire front end of the truck and on top of that we're gonna have we're going to give the grill a foundation to sit on when we do that we're also going to separate the two pieces of a front end specifically if you have a front end that is this high right here we need to have a separation from the top part of the grill and the graphics on the top and the lower part so that's what this piece is going to do it's going to separate this piece right here that we have the lower part of the front end and then we have the top part of the uh, front end right there and we have them separated by this piece of bodywork that sits that, that the grill will sit upon so looking at it from this view what I'm going to do is add some body, body part right here just a simple bar that stretches 
just from one side to the other. And another thing that I want to talk about is the front bumper. So when we have it be like this without this separation, it looks like this whole design here is too round. It's just a massive round piece at the bottom of the truck. And that, that gives it a, a front heavy look. It looks like the mass of the, the weight of the front end hangs right here in this part right here. It almost looks like a log in the front end truck because it's so round and it's so massive and it's so consistent in its shape that it looks kind of weird. And I think on top of having this bar here that I'm going to add, having that be a foundation from the grill, I also think it's going to re reduce the, the weight of the lower part of the front end. Now let's have a look at the rear end real quick here. Let me show you what I'm going to do here and what I think can be a little bit improved here. I think maybe there is too much styling going on right here with all these chamfers and line work and everything going on. I know it's a Toyota, they like to style things, but at the same time you can have this type of styling on the smaller Tacoma. I think the larger Tundra here needs to be more grown up when it comes to the styling. It needs to have more of a strength and foundation in the rear end and I don't think this uh, looks strong enough because now it looks like this is stapled in here. This light, it's stapled into the body because we have these angles right here going in and kind of having it looking like the, the tail light is kind of squishing in there. The best description I can think of is that it's been stapled into some soft material and sits right in here as a st <laughs> from a staple gun. So what I want to do is remove this feeling of the tension around the taillight. So what I want to do is remove this angle right here. You see that it goes, it, it goes like this and then it goes back in here. So I want to have this taillight go straight down like this and then have the top part right here thicken this part a little bit and not have it look like it's angled in and that it's being sucked in by the taillight that's pulled into the body of the rear end here in the rear fender. There's going to be some pretty minor changes just both front and rear and Eugene is very excited to see how this is going to turn up because he's after all the chief designer here. More specifically I'm really excited to see how the front end is going to turn out. I think just adding a separation between the two graphic features of the car is going to make a huge difference. So with that said let's jump in and let's see how this is going to turn out.
Alright guys, so here we are. I just quickly want to show you the before and after. So this is up top here we have the before and uh, down here we have the redesigns of both the front and the rear. And as I said, I think this little bar here, it makes a massive difference to the the structure and the, the width of the front end. And here, this big black graphic feature, it makes it look almost too high. So adding this little piece down here is just going to make it look a little wider and also more structured in the grill and less symmetrical because we're here uh, up here we have the same kind of lines going here and it looks almost a little too static for me so adding something to break it up it's it's helping in both graphic symmetry removing that it helps in width it also helps in giving the grill a foundation to sit on now looking at the rear view I wanted to add some strength to this I think this is more of a Tacoma approach to to design when you have a lot going on here with the lines increases and also the staple gun effect with this taillight remove the staple gun effect and have it be more structured and more grown up when it comes to the taillight design I love the LEDs here it looks very very modern but I want to have them go straight down and not have them go in like this like we have right here in the bottom of the Tacoma of the Tundra up there we still have some Toyota design in here because we still have the taillights going in and the top but I don't want to have the same in the bottom there's a lot of symmetry going on in this truck and symmetry just removes the dynamic feeling of anything you're working on specifically when it comes to car design want to have some movement in the small graphic features as well as in the overall proportions of the truck and I think moving this design into this design right here that means that we have a different shape up top than we have in the bottom same thing here we have a different shape up top here than we have in the bottom of the grille and this creates a more interesting approach to simple graphic features of the car